Yeah, so doctors say his condition is improving, symptoms are getting better, but we're also learning a bit more about why he was hospitalized. He had a high fever, his oxygen was dropping as well. You mentioned those steroids. He's also on experimental drugs. The president taking to Twitter once again, posting another video for the American people, this time saying that he has learned quite a bit about COVID-19. Yeah, I learned a lot about COVID. I learned it by really going to school. This is the real school. This isn't the let's read the book school. And I get it and I understand it. But after posting that tweet, a highly unusual move. President Trump leaving isolation, infected with COVID. He took a Secret Service escort to wave to his supporters gathered in large crowds outside the hospital. Uh, some of the Secret Service drivers were seen wearing N95 masks. The White House says Trump is still working, running the country. It's possible, they say, he could be released from the hospital sometime today. While at the same time, doctors say his oxygen has dropped at least twice. Trump is also on a steroid, often used for lung inflammation, as well as two experimental drugs. And the White House physician now under some criticism for a lack of transparency with the public. I was trying to reflect the, the, uh, the upbeat attitude that the team, the president, that his course of illness has had. Um, and in doing so, uh, you know, it came off uh, that we were trying to hide something, which wasn't necessarily true. Well, doctors would not answer any questions about the president's lung scans, what they may have found, as well as any signs of pneumonia. Meantime, the president's critics say he should not have gotten into that SUV, leaving the isolation ward in the hospital because he does have a highly contagious virus. As he continues to recover again, doctors say it is possible he could leave the hospital at some point today. Live in the Montgomery County Bureau, Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News.